I do this for the girls who live life from the inside and find power in whispers. Who wear introvert like a badge of honor, the first one to leave a party and the last one to leave the bookstore. I do this for the girls with loud minds but are hungry for silence. You're smart as a parent and your quiet is valid. You'll never be the loudest voice in the room, but your words will always matter. I write for the little girl that stares in the mirror because she hasn't accepted her flaws yet. I write for the woman that doesn't feel the need to downplay her independence for the approval of society. I write for the women who battle with loving themselves on a daily basis. I write because it is equivalent to breathing in oxygen. I write for me. I write for the women who want to free their emotions before they explode. To spread encouragement and hope like dead lion seeds. Wish that they could plant positive thoughts, grow confidence and self-esteem. I write for God, for me, for women, for Christians, the lost, for men, anybody who will listen. I write on behalf of the loved ones who are shattered and broken. I am their story. I am the mouthpiece for those with deeply scarred wounds. I serve as the bandage for women whose scars never seem to heal. For the women that carry the burden of childhood pain and the shame of past mistakes. I speak for women who need release, for those who want to escape the prison that is their mind. I rhyme for the women that can't see the beautiful in the broken things. I write for the women that know they deserve more, for the women that never felt like they were good enough, for the women that refuse to conform, that breaks all social norms. I write for the women that don't know that their flaws make them beautiful and human. I write for the women that want to be heard and not just seen. I write for the women who were taught silence is the only option because the personal is political and I'm trying to change the world one story at a time. I write for the women who run away from their own reflections. I write for myself because no one else can tell this story. So when they asked me why I write, why I write, why I perform, why I perform, why I speak, why I speak, I, I will say I speak, speak for the women whose beautiful stories have yet to be told. I speak for all the women whose beautiful stories have yet to be told.